Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my tip of the universe. This is Jess with Capella Well and is here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. I'm so glad you're joining me for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch another to watch another one of my videos. And for those of you who are my subscribers here to this channel, <clears throat> I can't thank you enough for your lovely loyalty and your support. And to my Capella members, last but not least, I cannot thank you guys enough for what you've brought me, what you've encouraged me to do. We all work together. I help you, you help me. Um, I'm so very, very grateful to each and every one of you, okay? Um, before I get started, I would like to mention that I am offering personal readings, live coaching sessions via phone, phone or Zoom. Um, if you're interested, check out the description box, go to capellawless.com, or you can also sign up for a 14-day free trial of one of my Capella memberships. They're very awesome. There's a lot of extra bonus content. You get more bang for your buck. You even get to talk to me directly via chat on my free mobile app. You get to be entered into free uh, reading drawings for free readings every month that you are a member. Oh, I just remembered I have to pick the November winner. Uh, thank you, Spirit, for reminding me of that. Um, a whole bunch of other amazing things. You will also get to meet some amazing people in those groups and those memberships, okay? Because you will be part of the Capella Circle, which is a private forum. Um, I even have Twin Flame support groups, which I'm going to start to do very soon, and a whole bunch of other members-only live readings. But anyway, if you want to check that out, click on the Join Now button when you go to capellawellness.com or check out the description box, okay? To click on the link to see the different tiers that are available and the 14 day free trial feel free to cancel it before the 14 days are up no hard feelings i won't put bad juju on you or anything okay again if you don't if it doesn't work for you that is fine at least you tried it out right don't knock it to you try it type of thing but anyway if you have any questions about that stuff my memberships my services please don't hesitate to contact me my description box has my email address okay all right virgo so <clears throat> if you didn't hear me already i am changing up the readings for november uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to see what your current energies are for the week. And remember, time is fluid and energies are always changing, all right? And then we're going to see what you need to focus on, what you need to avoid for your spiritual growth, because that is what this is about. We're then going to get additional guidance from Spirit, how to best navigate these energies, um, what your wellness tip is, and we're going to see what's coming to you in love, all right? So stick around for that. All right, Virgo, let's see what your current energies are for this week. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Play and Syrians, please reveal to us for highest good. What are the current energies for Virgo for this week? <clears throat> please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I just heard the energies are big. <laughs> Expansive. Magnanimous. I'm getting big words here. What is the current what are the current energies for Virgo? <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Plated Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. You're thinking about this one. The same thing happened in Taurus's reading that I just did. There we go. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. <coughs> Look at this. I'm hearing aligning all of the chakras, right? 12th house, introspection. 12th house is ruled by Pisces. It's Neptune, right? <coughs> Going within, really trusting and listening to your intuition. Okay, this is the theme for this week. And part of that deals with, for some of you, you really need to do some chakra balancing here. I do offer chakra healing uh, as one of my services. If you're interested in that, just go to the service suite and go look for the healing services, the healing category, and you will see chakra healing there. All right. <clears throat> some of you need to do some of this healing because you're having an issue with reaching out, I'm hearing, with getting guidance, with hearing 
um, messages in the 5D with really tapping into those energies and connecting with your guides, with God, your angels, okay? I'm hearing your crown chakra or your third eye are blocked. As for some of you, not for all of you, remember to take what resonates, all right? Leave what doesn't. For somebody else who's watching this, it's a collective reading. So um, in order for you to <clears throat> have a better, I'm hearing better telepathy or have a stronger connection with the 5D realm here, you're really going to have to go within. This is the energy of the hermit, right? Spiritual mastery about uh, doing some um, soul searching and looking within yourself for the answers, okay? Because not always the, the answers are always are going to come outside of you. They're already within you because you're actually that sage, okay? You just have to align yourself with that sage energy about you. But that deals with you pulling away from you know, the outside world and really looking within to see what you can find, okay? Doing some navigating <laughs> to see what you could find. I was actually, that's a lyric from um, the Jason Mraz, I Won't Give Up song. Um, it says, and when you're needing your space to do some navigating, I'll be here patiently waiting to see what you find. Some of you need to do some navigating and, and, and seeking the answers within you, all right? <clears throat> The 12th house deals with imagination as well. It's uh, uh, the subconscious, right? The the depths of the ocean. 12th house is going very deep into your subconscious to pull out that knowledge, to pull out those things that, you know, you're not really looking, you can't really see in the 3D or can't find in the 3D, all right? This is 5D stuff. <clears throat> A lot of you are being asked to connect more with your guides. I see high priestess with this, the hierophant. <coughs> the hermit, <clears throat> um, even four swords and ace of cups. <clears throat> really, really, really going within is going to be a big thing for some of you. <clears throat> um, 12th house is also the house of undoing. It's a house of enemies too. Be careful, Virgo, with um, <clears throat> who you are associating yourself with because there's some energy where you may be viewing certain people that you're dealing with as friends but they may actually be your enemies and maybe if you really go within to listen to your your inner guidance to see who they are or trust in your feelings trust in your gut when you do that okay <clears throat> bottom of the deck is the second house the resources so what's interesting is I'm looking at this apple, okay? And when I talked about the friends as enemies, I'm seeing very strongly Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. When the queen turns into that witch, right? And she hands her the red apple. And the the Snow White, she's a little bit skeptical, but the she's like, oh, the witch is like, I'm an old woman and this, this, this and that, right? So Snow White's like, okay. And she takes a bite of the apple and what happens, Right. The, I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's what I'm getting. So be very careful with who's handing you a red apple. Okay, Virgo. Um, but because this is the second house, this is resources, right? This is uh, ruled by, uh, it's Taurus energy. It is <coughs> ruled by Venus. Okay. This could be, for some of you, like something about financial security and stability. Maybe you're not having the money coming in or you're you're hoping this will happen. But this may be caused due to, um, again, looking at the material world and, and maybe focusing too much on that. And that's why with that introspection card there, tapping more into your subconscious and going within to get your answers, to, to, to meditate, to, um, again, navigate those energies with regards to <clears throat> something about materialism or possessions or resources, um, where you're you're trying to look at life more from a spiritual standpoint than from a materialistic standpoint, okay? Um, I'm hearing temptation, again, with that apple. There may be some temptation with regards to money here. Some of you may be too overly focused on money, and spirit is asking you to be more focused on spirit, right? It's a time for a spirit. <clears throat> you're better able to manifest things in your life to include material wealth when you have achieved the spiritual mastery, when you're realizing that this life that we're in, it's more about spirituality than materialism, okay? Materialism is tied to the devil, but spirituality is tied to God. So it's kind of like make a choice. Are you going to be tied to that devil energy with all this money here, with, with possessions, with things, or are you going to be tied more to God, right? 
which includes the the gaining the wisdom by doing that type of hermit energy um, and connecting more to your inner guidance and your guides, your angels, your ancestors, God. <coughs> um, yeah, there's something about financial security and stability. Wishing you had more resources or something like that. Um, but again, there's, there's an energy for some of you where you're focusing too much on, on the material world. The 3D world is what I'm hearing, okay? So really, really get into hermit mode, some of you, and start asking yourself why you're so attached to the 3D world, why you may be attached to money or possessions or things or, you know, um, status, okay? Um, second house is what is really of value to you, okay? <clears throat> really think about your feelings about money. This is going to also be about having a better relationship with money. <clears throat> Understanding that money is energy could be a big thing for some of you, okay? That um, you have to give in order to get, right? Can't be four pentacles where you're hoarding your money all day and being afraid to spend it or spending too frivolously and, and, and getting tied up with possessions, with material things. I got to have this car, I got to have this house, I have to have these shoes, I have to have this bike, I have to have this, this and that, you know, that home. Ask yourself honestly, Virgo, for some of you who are dealing with this, why, why are you so caught up in that type of world, okay? Um... So look more into the spiritual satisfaction of things, not the material, to material satisfaction of things because money can't buy you happiness, right? The amount of money you have in your bank account, Virgo, does not determine who you are. <clears throat> um, those who are more spiritually aligned have more happy, stable lives <coughs> because the material world is not consuming them anymore. What you need to be looking for is, is spiritual satisfaction and emotional satisfaction. And that is the energy of the 12th house with that introspection, all right? Really, again, do some soul searching. Ask yourself, what, why do you have that relationship with money the way that you have it? Um, explore how you really feel about money, possessions, things, the 3D world. You'll start to realize that the more money you have, it's never going to be enough. Okay. But when you tap into more things from a spiritual standpoint, when you find what ultimately fulfills you, the emotions, right? It has nothing to do with material things. You will have more than enough and you will start to understand that money is not it. All right. <clears throat> I'm also getting when you're really looking within yourself, you'll be able to get guidance and insight as to what to, uh, your uh, what you really value and um, the other types of resources that could help you, as opposed to money being resources because resources could be help, okay? It could be um, guidance. Having a resource of people who will give you more guidance or give you more help or whatever this is. There's there's different definitions for resources. Resources doesn't always have to mean money, coin, the dollar, okay, the yen. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is a week to really, really look inside yourself and start asking why you have the connection with money the way that you do. All right, because over time, when you're going through that hermit mode and learning your life's lessons about 3D world, about materialism, about money, you're going to start to see what is really of value, what is really important in life. And that is a following a spiritual path, not a materialistic path. And then when you get to a certain elevation, a certain point in your journey 
where you're so aligned with what it is that your heart's desiring, you will start to manifest those things and start chasing it. You're going to learn how to attract the money and not chase it. All right. So we're going to now look into what you need to focus on for the week. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Planet Series, please reveal to us for highest good. What does Virgo need to focus on for this week? Oh, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. <clears throat> Holy crap. It's the death card. Taurus got this, but in the reverse. You may want to watch Taurus's reading, okay? What is it that you really value? The environment that you're in is not working out for you, Taurus, uh, Virgo. <laughs> you may be dealing with a Taurus, who knows? <clears throat> I did talk about the second house. It's Taurus. Scorpio energy. This season in Scorpio and the eclipses are really getting you to change how you view money. There is a spiritual awakening here. You guys are going to go through some huge transition into pulling yourself away from what doesn't serve you into a life that is going to better serve you and it has nothing to do with money and possessions, Virgo. Profound changes are going to be made. You need to be the change you wish to see. Some of you are being asked to focus more on ending that, that, that um, low vibrational relationship with money. Okay? With things. With the 3D world. This is Phoenix rising from the ashes where you're going to come out better on the other side. This transformation is necessary for you to become the person God has always made you to be. And God wants you to be closer to him, not closer to the devil. And again, as I said, materialism is devil energy. Okay. Now, again, money isn't bad. It is not evil. That's not what I'm saying. We do need money to buy a roof over our heads, to, to, to have food on the table, clothing, that type of thing. The basic needs. But even if you have like millions of dollars in the bank, it doesn't make you evil. It doesn't make you less worthy. It doesn't make you some sinister person. Okay, so maybe somebody needs to hear that because that might be your perception about, the, about money. Um, You're going through some significant changes here so that you live a life more of, you live a more spiritual life. There are major, major, major things that are happening because, it, because this is a major arcana, guys. A lot of profound changes are going to be happening. It's being caused by God. By the universe because God is saying these changes need to be made Virgo if you have to if you want to have a more abundant fulfilling life and remember abundance isn't just about money either there are external changes happening in your environment they're gonna cause you to uproot yourself from that environment <coughs> 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 There's a complete renewal here. The life you once knew is done. It's over. Change is about to happen and you can't avoid it. Because these external these changes are external. There are forces beyond your control that are causing these changes to happen to be part of your transformation, your awakening process, your ascension process. A lot of things are going to be purged out. <clears throat> I'm hearing God is going to end one thing in your life and he's going to begin a new one and it's going to be a completely new life for you. You've outgrown your environment, Virgo. So it's time to make a change here. <coughs> it's time to transition to something bigger and better. You don't need to stay caught up in the past. Let go of the past and move on. The past was there to teach you huge life lessons. The past was here to get you to change the person you were meant to be. That white rose, the purification, the renewal, the purity about getting you back to a pure divine self. 
which was tarnished by the material world so that you can attract the things that you really want. And part of this death process, it's death of the ego. Ego is also devil energy. It's also the material world, right? Death to the ego. So that as you're going through your awakening process, you're doing the soul searching, you're doing the navigating. You're realizing, man, this is not the life I really should be living. There's more to life than just money and things. There's God. There's humanity. There's love. <clears throat> so some of you are being asked to make those changes now. All right? But the universe, Scorpio season is doing that. These fears about money for some of you. These false beliefs, these dark things that are surrounding you with regards to money. Or, you know, a certain life that you're living that is completely materialistic. And you're cutting that off with that scythe. No more attachments to the 3D world, to material things. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. I think I said this. It's the Four of Pentacles. This is exactly what this is. Fear of not having enough, fear of money, fear of spending, fear of saving, fear of whatever. There's a certain relationship with money that some of you have that needs to change because it's blocking your abundance. You have to be grateful for what you already have than what you don't have. Now, there is a message here. Again, oh, hold on, let me go back. Cutting out materialistic life right? Maybe some of you do a lot of hoarding. You keep things because you're afraid to let go of them because there's some sentimental value to it. Is it really necessary for your life, Virgo, for whoever needs to hear this? You're holding on too tightly to something of the past or someone of the past. You're holding on too tightly to these possessions, these things that don't necessarily bring you joy that really don't have any type of spiritual value it's time to let go of those things Virgo clear cancel releases what I just heard let go stop holding on too tight and the others of you the scarcity mindset lack is going to continue to continue to attract more lack again that spiritual path is going to bring you the fulfillment not the money piece of this <clears throat> this is resistant to change. Maybe you want things to change with regards to your finances. Or do, do, have you changed your relationship with money? Are you understanding what is really of value in your life? What really makes you happy? If you're afraid to spend, Virgo, you're blocking more of that money from coming in because you have a fear of it you have a fear oh if i spend those 20 bucks i may not get it later oh if i spend those 20 bucks i'm only gonna have like five cents in my account and then what god always provides for whoever needs to hear this if you're spending money frivolously it's time to change that too <clears throat> some of you are trying to fill a void some of you are putting too much value into money, into materialistic things. Because you think that's what's going to bring you happiness. But at the end of the day, Virgo, you innately know that it doesn't. Your intuition keeps telling you this. Others of you, there are going to be huge, profound changes with regards to your finances. Maybe even the home because it's the four of pentacles. <coughs> you may have Scorpio in the fourth house. This is for somebody specific. <clears throat> okay. Again, start going within to see what is really of value to you. And for those of you who've understood what is really of value to you, even though you might be broke, you're still content. Even though if you have very little money wise, you're still happy. You're you're still growing, learning, and evolving. You're not letting the materialistic world world bog you down. 
some of you have understood that you're more grateful for things than you were grateful for before. Some of you may have been wanting to keep up with the Joneses and had this energy of uh, wanting to have all these things just for show, right, status, accolade. I think I talked about that. Um, oh, if I have more in my bank account, then, you know, people are going to look at me as this or that. But that's stemming from some sort of childhood wound or something, something that you never had and you always wanted. But for some, it may have gotten out of hand with regards to this four of pentacles because at the end of the day, you were missing something else in your life. really start setting some priorities and focusing on what how you're going to view start viewing money now and what you're going to understand what is really of value to you when you do that introspection virgo you're going to have things come to the surface with that scorpio energy with the death card and you're going to face those fears about whatever comes up money home possessions Letting go of things. So if you're afraid to let go of stuff. <clears throat> Some of you are being asked to live a more minimalist life. Some of you have done this. Some of you have cut out a lot of stuff. There's been a lot of death to a lot of things. Death to your car, death to your home, death to your possessions. Meaning, no longer existing moving away from that that's why i said death to those things okay you're cutting off what doesn't serve you because god's trying to bring in something even better <clears throat> so don't hold on to those things that you know you don't need anymore you know don't bring you happiness or even those people that I'm getting, this is more about material things because of the second house at the bottom of the deck and because of uh, the four of pentacles here. <clears throat> Some of you need to do more decluttering in your home, your office, your car, your energies, all the above. Cutting out what doesn't serve you, right? Decluttering, clearing out those things, again, that are not really of value to you anymore. Release materialism. Less is more, Virgo. Less is more. Because here's the thing. I actually had a dream about this the other day. Because if you guys don't know my story, um, I had a problem with this. <clears throat> I was very good with my money at one point, but then something happened in my marriage, and then it started to fall apart. <clears throat> I had these self-worth issues too and then everything just started to like get dark or whatever and then I got caught up in the materialistic world, right? So then what I realized is that when I was hoping for new things to come in for a, a, like Ace of Pentacles, like what Taurus got with a new life, with a new beginning, with, with, with bigger, better things, I had too much in my home for to make space for new things to come in. And just recently, I've practically lost everything it was a death to a lot of those things that i once had to include my car because i found out some not so great news with the car my car guy back in maryland suggested that the work that it needed to be done it's not worth it my car is very old and it has almost two hundred thousand miles on it I'm starting to realize as much as I wanted to keep that car, it's still tied to my past. And I knew it was coming. I've already lost a lot. I had to give up a lot. I had to let go of a lot of material things. It was part of my karma. God was like, you tried to fill your happiness with these things, Jess. I now need to tell you to give them up. And I, I told myself, I kept some things that were of true value to me. But I got rid of a lot. I let go of a lot of stuff. And God was teaching me about less is more. Releasing materialism. Reevaluating what is really important to me. What is, and I asked myself, do I really need to buy that? No. That's what I have learned to do. 
And some of you, you're going through the same thing. Understanding what my true priorities are. My health was important. Family is important. What is really of value, right? Health, family, abundance in health, abundance in family, abundance in harmonious relationships, abundance in life itself, not material things. And I started to focus more on prioritizing what was really my basic needs, what was really needed in my life. Time to let go, Virgo. It's time to clear out your closets, clean out your home. Because you want the new to come in. You can't have all that cluttered stuff because there's no energetic space for anything else to get in there. Others of you, you've done this. <clears throat> you've cut out what doesn't serve you. You've let go of the material world. You understand that less is more. You understand what is truly of value. Some of you have literally cleared out so much out of your house or maybe even let go of your house, period. And because you've done that, huge changes are coming. Oh, it has to do with the full moon and Taurus total eclipse. I'm picking up on those energies that occurs November 8th to the 9th, depending where you are in the world. I'm telling you guys, there are massive, profound changes that are happening to the collective. And for those of you who've understood, you've released materialism, you've let go of what you were holding on too tightly to, you're moving on to a completely different phase in your life. Wow. Let's see what you need to avoid. It's time to make those changes here, Virgo. God's going to bless you with way more when you give up what you have. Trying to see how attached to things you are. And if you are going to release those attachments, what is it that Virgo needs to avoid? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Praying Series, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. There's materialism again. Seven of Cups, shiny object syndrome. What did I say? Ooh, do I need to buy that? Ooh, it's the new iPhone. Ooh, it's the new car. Ooh, it's 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 a better house than the neighbor has. It's 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 it's, it's the, the fashion trends I'm hearing. It's the new this, the new that. I have to have the newest thing. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Why do you need to do that, Virgo? Some of you are trying to fill a cup with poison instead of with divine love. Some of you, you're, you're having this relationship with money because you are trying to keep up with the Joneses. Some of you, not all of you, because it's the Seven of Cups. There's also something for you. There's shopping here or something, you know, buying things. Materialism. It's uh, escapism. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All of these things are enticing to you. It's a temptation. Ooh, look at this, Virgo. You need this, Virgo. You need that relationship. You need that person. You need that purse. You need that shoe, those pair of shoes. You need that car. I heard scarf. Apparently, you're accumulating a lot of things because you're utilizing shopping or materialism as an escape, as, as escapism. There even could be for somebody here specifically, there's an issue with drinking. You may be spending too much money on alcohol or partying or something like that to escape. Pretending that things are okay when they really are not. That's clouded judgment. Those are, you're, 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 you're thinking that everything's okay. Or like, oh, well, if I have these things, it'll make me happy. Or if I have these things, it'll make me this person. Or it'll make life better. No. Okay. <clears throat> Avoid materialism. It's here twice. We saw the four of pentacles. Release materialism. Avoid materialism. That is not 
your road to happiness. Trust me, guys. I have been through this already. Walk away. Eight of Cups is after this. Walk away. You're trying to fill cups with things that you will never be satisfied with. Ever. And it's material stuff. Okay? <clears throat> that is not the road to happiness. And some of you know this. It's a little bit of a harsh word for you guys to hear right now because you don't want to give up those things. You don't want to give up that lifestyle. Okay? This is really taking action on fixing this because this life that you're living for some of you with this escapism, I, I could tell you right now, Virgo, it's not, it's not going to be pleasant. You, it'll spiral out of control if it hasn't already. And then you will get more caught up into this world full of illusion. <clears throat> okay. This is like a fantasy world. Some of you are probably, you're living a fantasy world. There is more to life than the life that you're living, Virgo. There are so many options. There's so many choices. There's so many things. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. What do I do? What decision do I make? You need to choose the cup that doesn't have poison, Virgo. That's the, that's the cup that you choose. It's the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail does not have material things in it. It's just love. It's just water. It's just the divine. That's what's going to bring you the fulfillment. A lot of you need to cut this off. You need to end this. And the universe is going to do it for you. God's going to do it for you with the major arcana. End the life of materialism, Virgo. You know what decision to make. You know which cup to choose. Some of you know you need to pull away from this materialistic world. Focus more on what you know is going to bring you value. Make a decision. It's like some of you have your head too far up in the clouds. You need to come back down and ground yourself, Virgo. This is wishful thinking. A lack of focus on going after what it is that's supposed to be rejuvenating and renewing for you. Drinking from the divine cup of God instead of drinking from the cup of poison. Because the, the poisonous cups are really affecting you. Yes? Okay, thank you. All right. I have to make a choice. I'm choosing to keep doing this, and then I will go eat dinner. <laughs> Ooh, the emperor at the bottom of the deck. You really need to bring order to the chaotic life that you're living, some of you, with this materialistic world, with the fantasy world, all right? Um, you're going to have to make things happen and get yourself into gear here. Take control of your life because some of you, your life is way out of hand with regard to money here. There's so many things that are going on and so many cool gadgets and all these other things. And you're like, oh, let me put money here and put money there. But there's an escape problem here. <clears throat> okay. Got to get back to center. You got to get stable and secure. It's taking action on stopping this type of escapism being tempted by so many things and you are not resisting the temptation. It's going to cause a huge detriment here in your life. All right. It's time for you to take back control of your life. 
Virgo, especially with regards to your finances, because it's getting out of control. You got to bring order to chaos. You got to start being a lot more organized. There could be something where you have all these things in your home and they're scattered everywhere and it's causing a lot of stress and there, there's no there's no order, there's no organization and your house is full of stuff and you have to do something about it. That's why I said decluttering. You've got too many physical things in your home or in the car or something like that. And it's, it's a bit chaotic, okay? Um, some of you with that resistance to change, four of pentacles being stubborn, you know you need to change something about your relationship to money and you're not budging because you're afraid of letting go of that materialistic work because you like things because it makes you feel better, but does it really? It's probably because your cup is not full, right? Like I was talking about. There's this inflexibility about you. Nope, I'm very rigid. I'm not going to change my ways. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I like my things. It makes me feel good, but there's something here that you are, there's an illusion with that. You're deceiving yourself into thinking these material things are bringing you happiness, Virgo. There's a lack of control here. It's all over the place. There are things all over your house, all over the, whatever this is, maybe even energetically. You've lost control here. It's time to take back control of your finances. It's got to be grounded. You've got to be more solid and stable with this because it's all over the place. You could be dealing with an Aries. Taurus got the Aries card yesterday for their um, Thema Bob. But you need to find more stability in yourself. You got to connect more to the divine. Your divine masculine energy is off the charts because you're more distorted than divine. And a distorted masculine is the one who's consumed by the 3D world. Time, energy, possessions, status, bank accounts. A distorted masculine is all about the materialist of the world. Not a divine masculine. He gets what he wants because of his character, because he's very connected to God. He doesn't chase money. He attracts it. There's also this energy here. Because I'm getting 12th house, I'm getting Pisces energy. You're dealing with a Pisces. Maybe they even have Taurus. I'm hearing Pisces, Sun, Taurus, Moon. That's kind of weird. I just got that out of nowhere. Scorpio rising. Scorpio North Node. Anyway. Um, uh, there is somebody here who is making profound changes to take action and come towards you. They are now ready to be the leader, to, be, to take on the role of the uh, provider and protector, which is a true divine masculine Christ. Okay? Someone's made a clear choice and they're choosing you, I heard. Um, that's for another group here. There's someone who's really bossed up. They've really leveled up and they're no afraid. They're no longer afraid to go after what they want because they know they're going to get it. They know they're going to have success because they visualize it. This person is now very solid and stable, very confident, very courageous. They take action when it's necessary and they don't hesitate. Somebody's ready to be the provider and protector here and they're no longer getting caught up in the 3D world, um, the materialistic world, because that's not what a true emperor does. Again, he attracts the money, he doesn't chase it. So somebody here, this emperor has made pro profound changes with releasing themselves from the materialistic world and now they're taking action to come towards you. They see you are the choice they should be making, not their jobs, not the materialistic world, not... Um, escapism, maybe even drinking problems to fill voids, to escape, you know, something, their emotions, whatever. But somebody here has made some huge changes. They're a very completely different person. But watch the Taurus reading because I explained about a different person. It does not mean a completely different individual. 
this person has really leveled up. They, they've changed greatly, but it's the same person on the outside. They just changed tremendously on the inside, okay? So there is somebody here that you're dealing with here, um, Virgo, who is ready to um, fulfill their role as the provider protector, as a divine masculine Christ. Um, they've let the past go. They're no longer caught up in it. They've changed their environment profoundly. All right. So take that how it resonates. Um, I am going to clarify the cards here. <coughs> Why is the death card here? As what Virgo needs to focus on. Holy Spirit, Galactic Families, Plating Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and the clarity. <coughs> Knight of Cups in the reverse. You may be dealing with somebody who keeps breaking your heart, who keeps making offers or keeps telling you something or maybe they tell you sweet nothings or they're very romantic with you <coughs> and then they pull back. Okay. If you're dealing with somebody like this, this is Pisces energy because it's water. All right. <coughs> if you are dealing with someone like this, uh, Virgo, you need to cut them out. Cut the cord. All right. It's time for you to, to release this person. You're holding on too tightly to this individual. It's time for you to let go. Because they're not emotionally stable yet. All right? There's an issue where this person starts to express their love or says something, and then they revoke that because they're too afraid of the profound emotions for you. Again, watch the Taurus reading. You guys are getting very similar cards. Okay? This person needs to be released. You are dealing with somebody who's not giving you the love that you deserve, but that's because you haven't given yourself the love that you deserve. There's also something about emotionally, uh, your, your emotions are running high, you're emotionally driven. Um, you purchase things based off of emotion, right? There's no logic to it with that emperor card. You don't think twice about this. Your emotions get the best of you, and then you have to buy something. It could even be you buying stuff for your kids or other people. Because there's some sort of codependency there. All right? That has to stop. You've got to get to a, a better emotional state here. Because this is not helping you. You're driven by emotions. <clears throat> bottom of the deck is the six of wands ego i said death to the ego ego does talk about fear all right some of you've got a lot of pride and there's something here about material things because you're thinking and that's going to make you who you are or you have to try to prove something to somebody virgo no you don't No, you don't. You got to let go of that unhealthy pride and that unhealthy ego, Virgo. Maybe you're dealing with a knight of cups who is egotistical. All right? Maybe a little bit pompous. I don't know. But you need to let go of that person. But I'm getting more strongly that the others of you, this has to do with your own pride and ego. Because you're like, nope, stubbornness, right? Nope, nope. There's also an ego here where you are ashamed for how much you've accumulated, how much you've spent. You're ashamed that you don't have the money in the bank that you should. You're ashamed of something. You're looking at all the possessions you have. You're like, oh my God, I spent all this money on this stuff. <clears throat> There's also a lack of self-confidence within you which led to the overspending or even being frugal, right? It's kind of like, no, I can't spend on this, but I'm getting more of like overspending because there's materialism here, right? You weren't confident yourself, had very low self-esteem. So you were trying to fill that with things. Okay. Or even you 
try to fill that by buying other people things. Take it how it resonates. It's different for everybody. Death to the ego. No more ego-driven purchases. <laughs> no more emotionally driven purchases, okay? This has to change. No more giving into fear. This is success, it's triumph, it's valor. It's being a leader with the Six of Wands. You gotta lead your own life, Virgo. And let go of that materialistic view. Let go of the fear of having less. Let go of the fear of giving up the job, the house, the car, the possessions. It's time for you to really move forward with regards to changing up <coughs> your relationship with money. <coughs> it's going to be very important. Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups in the reverse? I'm sorry, in the void position. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleading Series, please and thank you. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Oh boy. Control. Excessive control over things. This thing has gotten out of control, Virgo. You need to rectify this. It's become too much of a burden. It's weighing heavy on you. There could be a lot of debt here. Okay? Could be a lot of debt. This is a karmic pattern that you keep repeating. And I bet you anything for some of you, this has been a karmic, pa karmic pattern in your family too. Your family line. <coughs> Endings bring new beginnings. This needs to come to an end. Because it's gotten way too out of hand. It's gotten way too out of control, Virgo. You need to drop it. It's overwhelming. You're on the brink of collapse. Let it go. This could even be caused by a divorce, okay? Maybe you guys, somebody here got divorced and you know, you're trying to be independent, but you can't because of the money spending problem, perhaps for some of you, or again, how you view money. The divorce may have caused you to kind of um, feel less worthy of yourself, lose the self-esteem, lack, lack of confidence, right? Fears about money. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do about money? Now I'm divorced. And this divorce made me uh, spend more or whatever. Something like that. It's different for everybody. But there's also this energy of like this stubbornness and this closed heart. This is the ice queen. Maybe you're dealing with an ice queen. Someone who is very condescending to you, very belligerent, very uh, emotionally and verbally and, and mentally abusive. This is a very harsh person. It says very harsh words. No heart whatsoever. You may have been dealing with this person and this person really affected your self-esteem. And it caused you to start filling that void with things. Making you feel better. Making you look better. Okay, because if it's like adorning yourself with accessories or something like that, you probably don't even know this, Virgo, that this happened in your subconscious and it, that's the life that you ended up leading because of somebody here, okay? But you've got to stay mentally strong here and be careful with your emotions. Think about the choices you make before you act on them. Cut out the bullshit, the people, the things you don't need. Make wise decisions about what you are choosing in your life. <clears throat> six of coins, the six of pentacles. Conditionally giving. I talked about some of you maybe buying things for people, for children all the time, not saying no. Right? Not being assertive. Queen of Swords. Not standing up for yourself, speaking your truth. 
admitting the truth that there's an issue here with materialism, okay? Greed for some of you. Some of this is being driven by greed and you may not see this as greed, but if you think about it, Virgo, here's the cold hard truth here. <clears throat> this is what the Queen of Swords wants to say. She doesn't beat around the bush. Some of you are greedy. You have all these things, that's greed. It's excessiveness. Out of control spending. All right? You need to learn how to receive. You don't need to be buying all of these things or having all these things because it's not going to really scratch that itch. It won't ever do that. Being underpaid, being undervalued. See, some of you, you feel undervalued. So you're going to materialistic things to make you feel worthy, to make you feel valued. That is not the way to go about doing it, Virgo. I know I've been through this. You need to find your value on your own. <clears throat> It's not going to be validated by anyone or anything, okay? And if you're in those jobs where they're not paying you what you're supposed to be paid, they're not valuing you, get out of that job. That's exactly what God did with me. Apparently, some of you, God's taking you out of that job or out of that relationship or something where these people don't value you. You could be very, very intelligent and people don't value that. Maybe you are super intelligent, very witty, very gifted, and you're not valuing your intelligence. You're, you're trying to, again, keep up with the Joneses and make yourself be a certain person or look a certain way when that's not really you. Okay? And again, with this job thing for some of you, <coughs> it's time to leave that job. Okay. I'm hearing pay yourself first with this six of coins. Some of you are giving way too much. You're overly giving. You don't know how to say no. You, you're not assertive, assertive enough. And all this pressure weighs down on you because then you're like all these expenses, all this stuff. I have to buy this for that person. I have to buy that. No, 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 no. You got to cut out. You have to say no. You have to cut out that stuff. It, 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 it's gotten way out of hand here, Virgo. It really has. I'm here for somebody here. It's kind of leading to some sort of depression or something like that. Um, be very careful with that. Be very careful. Okay, so guidance. Some of you, if, if this is about you know your self worth here, and you've been dealing with so many people and jobs and places and things that are undervaluing you, you're thinking that if you have all these things that it's going to make you feel more valuable it's not and there's some of you who are very very intelligent individuals you're very gifted with writing or journalism or maybe a lawyer even um <clears throat> you're very very intelligent and you're not valuing your own mind your own intelligence that's that's exactly what happened to me i was valuing all the other stupid stuff and trying to seek validation outside of myself. I didn't value my ingenious ideas, my wit, my sense of humor. All right, let's see what guidance we have for you. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleading Syrians, please and thank you. What guidance do we have for Virgo? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Wow. Third eye chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Your third eye chakra needs to be unblocked to see with your spiritual eyes, Virgo. See the truth through spiritual eyes. Fairies, you have a strong bond with the fairies, and your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. If you get nervous, 
Focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. This is also the law of attraction. This is a law of reciprocity, which you put into the universe, which you get, All right? Find a balance between give and take, reciprocity. There is somebody here that you're dealing with who is not giving to you how much you're giving to them. That needs to end. You need to tell them the truth about this. Cut them out. Okay? You need to be focusing on you. <clears throat> Workshops and seminars. Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. Oh yeah, teacher. Some of you are meant to be a teacher. This is, this is what part of your purpose is. Okay. All right. Let's see what your wellness tip is and then we'll get to the love piece. <laughs> Shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing lights surrounding you. See? Fear-based stuff. I told you. <gasps> Clear, cancel, and delete. That's what I said. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. Holy crap. Indigo. Bottom of the deck. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. See, you're, some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces. I got that in the Taurus reading, too. That's a highly sensitive individual. But they, they're not... Um, accepting the fact they're not um, uh, uh, ex what's it called shit they have an issue with their sensitivity they look they see it as a weakness instead of a strength or that could be you okay you could have Pisces in your chart all right okay we're now going to look into the love piece of this What is coming to Virgo with regards to love? Holy Spirit, Archangels, God, the families, played in Syrians. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Abundance mindset. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Some of you are in a very negative state. You're just like closing yourself off to the world of being cold-hearted and harsh or somebody's dealing this with you or, or do, acting like this towards you, okay? Um, get away from the negativity, okay? You got to cut that out. Again, see with the money thing, abundance is not just about money, guys. It's about health, happiness, peace. Keep a positive mindset. Cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So in love, here's what I'm getting. What's coming to you in love, maybe an abundance of love when you are in an abundant mindset. I'm also getting for some... Um, if you want this true love to come in, you want somebody to give you the love that you're giving, uh, that they're giving to you, have them give the love to you that you're giving to them, you've got to work on yourself. You've got to, everything else that I talked about, you have to um, work on. So with this abundance card, this is about you believing in this love, um, being more abundant mindset so you can attract this person or attract the love that you want you got to fill your cup up first, right? Boat is at the bottom of the deck. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. See, moving on. Because some of you, what's coming to you in love, nobody's coming to you because you need to focus on manifesting what you want. You need to focus on your bliss and being grateful. I talked about gratitude, right? Be grateful for what you have instead of what you don't have. If you don't have the romance, you don't have the love, it's not ready for you now because you got to release a bunch of other things. For the others of you, your person is keeping a positive mindset with communicating with you. 
okay? Somebody who's made a clear choice. They've gone through some serious profound changes and especially with regards to being vulnerable and to stop breaking your heart or start get, and stop getting into these relationships and pulling themselves up when, when they feel the love too deep or something, especially with you. So this person has this positive mindset now and they're ready to move on. They're ready to move towards you. They've made a lot of progress. They're now ready to receive what they really need, what they really value, and that's true love, okay? This person also wants to uh, clear some unfinished business, all right? What deck, Holy Spirit? Oh, this one again, okay. I'm gonna get a message from your person before I close this out. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic, Lord, Planet, Syrians, please reveal to us for highest good. What would their person like to say to them at this time? What would their person like to say to Virgo? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic, Families, Planet, Syrians, please and thank you. Oh, oh, yikes. Somebody has a lot to say to you. Yep, with that Queen of Swords, somebody's not, they're not going to beat around the bush anymore. They're going to communicate clearly. Get ready. I'm about to make an appearance. Your nervous is not going to be for everybody. I can hear your thoughts. I know you are my divine counterpart. There you go. Bottom of the deck. I want to rebuild our relationship. Please give me that chance. Emperor, there's a divine masculine coming in here. They're already abundant now. They know what abundance is. I talked about this emperor let go of the materialistic world. Your, your divine masculine for some of you, not all of you. That's because if your masculine let go of the material world, it's because the divine feminine let go of the material world. Mirroring, okay? You cannot have a divine union if both of you are tied to the material world. That cannot happen because the material world is not divine. That's ruled by the devil, okay? That's why the materialistic world, the 3D world, needs to be released, okay? All right, Virgo, <coughs> I hope this reading helped you. Um, if you would like a personal reading or a life coaching session via phone or Zoom with me, check out the description box below. Go to capellawhouse.com. Or you can sign up for a 14-day free trial of one of my awesome Capella memberships. You'll meet some amazing people. You'll be able to sit in on Twin Flame group sessions so you can meet other counterparts to help you with your journey. All right? To help you with clear canceling, deleting things, the materialistic world, all this other stuff we talked about. Um, you get entered to win a free reading every month from me. Um, every month you remember, I have to pick the winner for November now that I think about it. Daily guidance videos. Other members only live sessions, a whole bunch of amazing stuff, guys. It's really well worth the investment. Um, check it out at capellawellness.com. Click on the join now button. See what I have to offer. There's different tiers. Some tiers include monthly coaching with me, okay? If you do the math, it is really well worth it, all right? Those readings, the extra bonus content that I give is to help supplement these readings. If you have any questions about my memberships or my services, please don't hesitate to contact me, all right? Um, I will definitely answer any questions you may have. Also, um, I do full moon and new moon readings on the day of the full moon and new moon uh, with the memberships if it's part of your benefit for that tier. I am doing a full moon in Taurus. It's the total lunar eclipse on November 8th, 9th, depending on the day. Um, I'll be doing that for my members only lives and that is going to be an incredibly powerful lunation okay it's dealing with the scorpio energy here because we're in scorpio season and that lunar eclipse will happen in scorpio season it's going to be a doozy okay so you may want to sit in on that all right anyway that concludes your reading, Virgo. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. Always, I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess with Capella Wellness, starring out.